Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a different bag. Uh, this time we're gonna do the duffel bag from Baboon to the Moon. Uh, this is the bag here. Yes, I said Baboon to the Moon. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the bag is the design on the interior, which we'll get to in just a second, but it was always pretty awesome. This is one of the things that caught my eye right off the bat. Uh, this is gonna be kind of a unboxing and a review. Uh, to be honest, this is the small bag. It's a 40 liter bag, I believe. I've been using this bag for a few months now. I love it. It is one of my favorite bags. I'm planning on going on a bigger trip this week. Uh, so what I wanted to do is get the bigger 60 liter bag. So we ordered the 60 liter bag too. I have it in the box here and I just want to see the difference. Um, because quite frankly, when I got this, this is the small bag. It's done a lot and it's pretty big. So water resistant, waterproof all the way across. Always been great material. These handles right here are on both sides. This review is gonna be a little bit shorter. I want you to see the interior, cause it is super cool. That's the interior. It is a monkey uh, riding what looks like a triceratops with some blue roses inside of it. All right, so there's the mesh liner right there on top of the, in the top part of the duffel bags enclosure. It's a U enclosure which I like a lot better than the Yeti bag because the Yeti bag's got this little zip right down there. It's the big waterproof zipper that's awesome. Um, that bag's fully submersible. I don't. I, I wouldn't necessarily risk that. I definitely wouldn't risk that with this one. Um, but this has the U closure. So with the U closure, you can get a whole lot more in there. That opening's really big. You can really pile things across. Um, I've taken a five day trip in this bag. That was a bit much, uh, but this is really good for three day trips. Uh, cool thing about this bag, once it zips up, turns right into backpack, got your backpack straps, you can flip it on like a backpack, you can close it down, bring the straps over, you got your duffel bag, gym bag, whatever you want. One thing I don't like about this bag, at the bottom it's got your kind of little zipper piece, so there's a zipper right here where you can put, I basically put all the electronics right there. Um, so I can throw my phone in there, I'll throw the rechargeable battery in there, I'll store my headphones in there, all that kind of stuff. But because of the logo going up and down, Babu, this is obviously the top of the backpack. So they put their uh, valuables pouch or whatever you want to call it right in the bottom. So if I hold it and drop it down on the ground, I'm dropping it right on my phone. So uh, if you guys watch this ever, flip it to the top if you would. I would love to see that valuables pouch up here. It'd be a little bit easier on me. Um, they also put these enclosures or these little straps along the side. Uh, these are great. When I'm traveling, I'll take a uh, carabiner or whatever, hook on a speaker, hook on headphones, hook on a couple of things outside, walk around with it. Um, I actually went through the airport a few days ago, thought it was pretty cool. I got a uh, compliment from the TSA agent who actually, you know, I, I'm sure that guy sees more bags than most of us. And he stopped me and he's like, man, where'd you get that bag? Tell me about this cool bag. So um, pretty neat to see uh, the enclosures here for Umbrellas, towels, yoga bag, whatever you want to hook on the outside. Um, pretty big, easy maneuver with. You can slide things in there. Um, you can get them all the way in, and they're on both sides. Same with the carabiner loops or whatever they're called. Um, those are on both sides with the straps. The straps move really easily for shoulder straps. They have also got their logo stuff inside. Um, but like I said, hard. A little harder material, I'm sure, on the bottom here. But I'll tell you what, this bag has held up through a lot. Um, been pretty rough to it, and it still looks, quite honestly, brand new. So very, very happy with this bag. And the space inside this bag is the biggest bag that, you know, even my wife said it doesn't look that big uh, when you put it on. On the inside, though, there's no zipper enclosures on either side. I'd like to see one for valuables or something like that. Maybe even some mesh pockets lining the side so I could slide some stuff in there for organization so everything isn't necessarily all laid out. There is one little mesh bag like this up against the side here, um, but it's the same size as the valuables pouch. So when you put something each, in each one, it just kind of, you know, there's a little padding at the other side, which is backwards to me, but um, that's it on that end. So any questions about that, you know, leave me a comment, let me know. But this is the 40 liter bag. Now, they came out with some new colors recently, which was pretty awesome. 
Um, they came out like a, they have some awesome colors, like this bright yellow bag. They have a red bag. They have um, a few others. I kept it pretty boring. Uh, went with another black bag, but it's got the pink bag boom logo, and the interior on this guy is um, pink with a different design, which I was really pumped about. So I'm gonna open this up real quick and take a peek at it. I really, like I said, biggest thing for this on me is to see the size difference between the 60 liter and that 40 liter. Cause I'm looking forward to being able to take a bit longer trips or two, if two people are going um, for a longer trip, be able to put both of us in the same uh, bag. So right when I open it up, love these guys. Again, they give you a little freebie, pretty cool little tote bag. Nice little canvas tote bag for you. Free, little free gift. Um, all your little details, packing order information. And then this is the bag. So let's take a quick look at this bad boy. Um, doesn't look too much bigger. Definitely feels bigger. Yep, all right, so similar in size right off the bat. I think lengthwise, these guys, if you can see them, are about the same height. They're not much difference in length, but I can tell right now the width on this one, this is the newest one, is gonna be a lot wider. Now again, the interior on this is gonna be a little bit brighter too. Um, they came out with a newer color, so this is a newer version. I want to see if they've made any upgrades to it. Um, but there's your interior, and this is the 60 liter versus the other one, which is the 40 liter. Yeah, it's just a rounder barrel. So it looks like the same, looks like the same length, approximately. Um, which is nice as you wear it for the backpack and everything else, but it's gonna be, uh, the barrel in it is a lot bigger. Now, again, the color on this one, awesome. It's got the Baboon logo here. You guys can see it with the pink on the, the pinkish purple on the uh, outside of the bag. Same carabiner straps, same outside. Um, let's see if they've moved. That zipper enclosure is still on the bottom, but again, I can see, and you can see, the difference in the bags in regards to the barrel, how round they are, the uh, diameter, so to speak. Uh, this is a lot bigger bag. So the 60 liter is gonna hold a lot more, which is awesome. This is exactly what I was looking for. The interior's got, it looks like an astronaut riding a tiger. Um, and some red flowers that I'm not sure exactly what are, what they are. But everything else looks the same. Zipper enclosure on the top. And again, the zipper enclosure on the top is very big. Holds a lot here. So again, if you guys have any questions, I'm really excited to get out and use this bag. Leave me a comment, let me know. Um, and be sure to follow me as well. We'll get uh, a lot more bags up here. Thanks again, talk to you soon.